really old fishing vessel here. And these guys, they're reconstructing all these ones. Looks like they've been beached for some time now. All right, today we're at uh, Puerto Lopez. It's about, well, it's 88 kilometers from Manta, but it takes like two and a half hours on a bus to get here. Um, the bus cost us $4.50 each. And uh, not much happening here. Oh, this guy's super drunk. You guys see him walking? He almost got hit by that motorcycle that just passed there while I was talking to you guys. He looks super angry. Yep, angry and drunk here in Puerto Lopez. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys have all these little little restaurants, little bars. Uh, we chose this place because the girl that came out was super friendly. Asked us if we wanted to have breakfast. I was like, hell yeah. And this is a place. Super, super nice. Got a little bar there for the night. Everything's made out of bamboo. It's pretty cool. Got these nice little lanterns. Oh, they got light bulbs inside. That guy. Yeah. That guy on the that guy on the bike there is trying to sell us a tour. Um, there's an island about 20 minutes from here that you could see the uh, blue-footed booby. So if you can't afford to go to the Galapagos, you can come to Puerto Lopez and do this tour. Um, you get on a boat, you go 20 minutes out, and then you can see the blue fitted booby. <clears throat> and he was going to charge two people, me and my wife, he was going to charge us $30 for both of us, which is a pretty good deal. And I think it's so cheap because there's like no tourists here. Since we got here, I've seen two Westerners. Not much happening. It's pretty quiet mostly. Oh no, three. There you go. There's a guy there. He's definitely a foreigner. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not really sure if we're going to do the tour today. I'm kind of tired because uh, the guest house we're staying at in Manta, they were uh, partying all night and the night before too, just partying, partying till all hours of the morning. So I'm super tired. Um, so I think I'd just rather just chill here, enjoy the nice beach atmosphere, see what kind of interesting things. Puerto Lopez has to offer. All right, guys. There's some fishing vessels out there. This is the view where we're going to eat breakfast right here. And uh, breakfast, we got a, well, we just went to Continental um, American, uh, sorry, they call it Americano Continental Breakfast. It's $4, comes with uh, eggs of your choice, coffee. Uh, actually, we got a platter of fruit as well. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to come with bread and something else. I think jam, butter, and it was $4. Not bad. Nice place to have breakfast. The weather is beautiful. Got a nice breeze coming in. And we're going to chill out here. And after we're done breakfast, we're going to go for a walk. And we're going to see what this town has to offer. And if you guys are ever in western Ecuador, um, maybe you might be interested in coming here. If you can't afford to go to Galapagos, this is like the, uh, I mean. The poor way to do it. The poor way to do it, yeah. If you're interested in coming to Ecuador, but you don't have the money or you can't get to Galapagos for whatever reason, this is the secondary option. And I'll show you guys what it has. And on a side note, this happens when you don't do any planning. Again, we are here, no planning at all. We just jumped yeah. on the bus. <laughs> I think I mentioned that uh, maybe two videos ago. Was it two videos ago? Where it was like the bus system. Oh, yeah, it was too. It was when we went to Cotopaxi. It was the last video. Uh, no, no, no. It was a couple videos ago. Um, yeah, when we went to. No, sorry. It was Kilatoa. We went to Kilatoa and just no planning. Just grabbed whatever bus got there. Got back. But the, the, to grab a bus here in Ecuador is super easy. Very easy. So. We're getting pretty lazy with the planning. All right, guys, I'm going to show you this breakfast. Okay, so this was $4. Eggs, a couple pieces of bread, the fruit, you got your jam, and then the coffee. And then this big platter of fruit is $4 as well. Oh, $3.50 because it doesn't have granola. Ah, yogurt, sorry. So it might be $3.50. $3.50. Plus. 
Um, obviously, because we're in a beach town, things cost a little more. If you're gonna get a plate like this in the in the city, it's gonna be more like 250, 250 US. And we got this delicious fruit juice as well. Mmm. Uh, it's like papaya juice or mixed papaya mango. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> All right, guys, we're doing a boat tour today to Salango Island. It's cheaper than going to Isla de la Plata. <laughs> Everything's cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Cheaper. Some curious kids here. <laughs> so hopefully, we get to see the blue footed booby today. The booby ducks. The what? The booby ducks. The booby ducks. We're in search of booby ducks today. And that's a view of the harbor we're leaving at. Travel Diaries. Baby sweetheart's not happy today because um, apparently we were told that we could walk on that island over there, but we're gonna be for two hours on this boat, just waiting for everyone to enjoy the ocean because we don't swim. <laughs> so, baby sweetheart is not happy. I just wanted a picture with the damn bird. All right, we're just heading back to the bus station. Uh, it's about two kilometers from Puerto Lopez. And unfortunately, the guy that sold us the tour said that we could walk around the island and take photos of the blue footed booby. However, uh, there's no way that boat could go ashore. It's, it was like almost like a yacht, uh, as you've seen in the video. So the guy kind of lied to us just to sell us a ticket because we weren't interested in basically the boat stopped outside the island people are jumping off and swimming for like an hour and a half or so uh, which we weren't really interested in doing uh i like what we were interested in were was uh to 
Sorry, I'm just looking at this guy. He drove past me earlier now. I'm not sure what he was looking for, but anyway. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> uh, right. The what? Guy came in the beach. Right, right. Uh, we weren't interested in like swimming. We wanted to get off on the island. I was going to make a video, you know, maybe capture some shots of the blue footed booby and all that, but we kind of got tricked into buying this ticket this tour for 15 us dollars and the boat just kind of stood away from the island there are no blue-footed boobies on the island anyway so another another lot yeah we did see one flying over but it's not like they said anyway we were able to capture some amazing uh footage of humpback whales so you know what totally worth it that we were able to uh chase down those whales and get epic shots and uh there was one i wasn't able to catch it but at one point the humpback did jump like right out of the water like something out of national geographic probably what three two meters away from us yeah but i was looking to the left and it happened to the right yeah. and i was like ah i didn't i didn't film it but anyway uh yeah hope you guys enjoy the video and uh this little tour of Puerto Nota or Puerto Lopez. All right, and this is what the highway looks like back to the bus station, just like that. And we came from down that way.